Y'all wanted a cheaters review? Hmm. I got one for you. Let's get into it. <laughs> It's your favorite, favorite Auntie Momo, and I'm here to give y'all a review for Cheaters, y'all. Yes, finally, the review that I have promised a few of y'all that I was going to do, that I ain't done yet, but I did it, and I got it especially for you. I got a good one for you, y'all. This is Cheaters. Alexis and John. Now, before we get into this review, y'all already know church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to your auntie channel. Now, I sure enough appreciate you. All my new subscribers, y'all be rocking with me. And I thank you. Sure enough, thank you. Hey, look at everybody at the house. They quarantine. You can't get out and shop like you want to. I got a few places. I'll hook you up with whatever it is you need. Look down in the description box below. Got a couple of places you can visit. Check out a couple of merch. Tell them Auntie Momo sent you. And trust me, when I say I'm going to send you somewhere, I ain't promoting nothing that I don't stick by. Go holler at these folks down here. You know what I'm saying? But um, make sure your notification bells are turned on. Share me out to your people. Give me thumbs up. Let me know you stopped by. And go comment. Say something to me. I appreciate all of that, though, for real. But look here, y'all. Do I got an episode of Cheetahs for y'all? Look here, I know y'all have been waiting on this review. I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get on up into it, y'all. All right, y'all, look. So, girl, we got this chick named Alexis. She's 29. Her boyfriend, John, 48. They've been together for three years, right? Now, she said in this three years, things done changed. He done switched it up on her. He not acting the same no more. Everything is different. Plus, he ain't breaking her back off no more like he used to do it. So, she like, I know something is up, right? Plus, this nigga likes to hang out at the barbershop, kicking it three, four, five, six hours. Mind you, this nigga bald. What you doing at the barbershop? Getting your head waxed? It take four, five hours for you to get your big ass head waxed? What you doing at the barbershop? Got a little smirk of beard. What you getting tramped? What you getting crumped? What you getting rolled, fried, down, laid to the side? Nigga ain't got no hair. So it's the first day of investigation. They end up following this dude to said barbershop where he's spending all his damn time at, right? Next thing you know, chick pull up in a white car. She get out the car. They embrace, start hugging and feeling and all of that. Next thing you know, baby, they go inside the building where the barbershop says go in a men's bathroom. Bitch, a little bit later, she come out buckling up her pants like they been in there laying in low, spreading the what? In the, in the bathroom of the bar. Now, mind you, it's not like a little, you know, homely barbershop. It's one of them, like, pavilion type thing. You know, where it's like 50 different, like, you know, independent cosmetologists or whoever, estheticians, they have their own individual, like, booth, but private room type thing. That's what it is. But he took old girl up there in the dark, in the bathroom, child, in a men's bathroom. Homegirl coming out. Oh, let me fix my. Looking goddamn just suspicious as hell. Suspicious as hell. Girl, he walks her to her car. They get to her car. They just, just, just kissing and all of that. Child, he ends up getting in the car from there, dipping and leaving. We on day five of investigation. So the cheaters operatives were able to find out homegirl named Lisa, right? I got a homegirl named Lisa with her crazy ass. Shout out to my nigga Lisa. Look here though. They end up getting in Lisa's car when they meet up at the barbershop again. They don't go inside the bathroom and start goosing this time. They get in her car, end up going to a restaurant. They kicking it or whatever, having a good old time, going to um, in a restaurant, holding hands, lovey-dovey, all hugged up and shit in the restaurant. Mind you, Alexis say, this nigga don't take her to the restaurant. She don't take her to the eateries. She ain't went out and got no damn cheddar biscuits. 
You ain't did nothing with this damn girl. In the three years y'all been together, what he used to do in the beginning, he don't do it no more, right? They end up going back to Lisa's car, get out her car, kissing and hugging and rubbing all that. He get in his car, go back to the house that he shared with Alexis. I'm like, look at the nerve of this nigga here. Cha! But hold on. Baby, it gets better. Girl, day eight of investigation. They meet up at the barbershop again. John and Lisa. Lisa hops in John's car. Baby, they go to church. Walked in the church house holding hands like two spiritually connected souls. Went to church. I was like, oh, word. You going to take your side chick to church? That's the first I'd have never seen. I mean, I mean, you know, that that's the, <laughs> what? So she calls him. You know how they have a the little phone recording so they can hear everything that's going on. Nigga, where you at? What you doing? Where you at? He like, oh my bad. I'm at the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? They was taking a long time. You know what I'm saying? They took a long and then I stopped by my friend's house. You know what I'm saying? She like, see, here you go with this barber shop thing, nigga. You ain't got no damn here. You with this fully Wayne shit? Like, what the hell is really going on? Where you at? He said, okay, I'll be home in a little bit. Don't worry about it. I just got to finish doing what I'm doing in my homeboy house, and I'll be home in a little bit. I was like, you could tell. The nigga was just straight lying on the phone. I mean, nigga, how you going to say you spent, that was taking too long at the barber shop? You ain't got no hair, Cletus. Child, so they meet up with Alexis and give her all the information that they done found out about this goddamn nigga. Child, they show her the videotapes and all of that. She like, oh, word up. She pissed off, ready to go goddamn off on his ass. Child, they end up going to the location where this nigga is with Lisa. Girl, they at the barbershop in the men's stall goosing. Baby, she walks in on them in the bathroom. He got Lisa hunched over on the doggone bathroom stall, and he up there banging the back out. Lord, it was the most embarrassing thing. I was so embarrassed for Lisa. I mean, pants down around his ankles, like, like a toddler, getting it in. I said, oh, this nigga done lost his damn mind. They start going off. They loud as hell. It's an all-black salon pavilion barbershop on top of that. Baby, everybody coming up out their goddamn little old studio party. Like, what the hell going on now? here? Baby, it's niggas everywhere. Child, they end up taking it outside. They loud. They fussing. They cussing. She end up start going off on Lisa. You old-ass hoe. What the fuck you doing? She was like, well, you young-ass bitch. I ain't know nothing about you. They steady going off. Child, this fool, John, gonna have to say, she wasn't giving me what I needed at home, so I had to go out and do what I gotta do. What you expect for me to do? Nick, communicate. We don't, we, we, is that, we don't do that no damn more. Child, it was a hot ass damn mess. They're in the middle of the parking lot, loud. You know when cheaters come through with the crew, it's like 50 of them niggas. They come rolling deep. Everybody got a camera. Everybody all up in your face. And it don't make it no damn better that the host, Clark Gable, he's like, don't you think that was wrong? Don't you think that you should have told her what was going on? And then he's asking the female, hi, so you didn't know anything about her? You didn't find anything weird about the whole situation? She's like, no, I ain't know nothing about her. I don't know nothing about this. Get the hell on up by my face. Gr uh, Lisa mad. Child, she then tells no uh Alexis tells John, you know what, bitch, when we get home, get all your shit, get the hell out. I don't want nothing to do with your ass. Baby, John flips the script and was like, bitch, I got more shit than you will ever have. You old ugly ass starts cussing her out. I'm like, what the hell just happened? He flips and starts cussing her out, then says he about to go have sex with another one. I said, wow. Like, he, he didn't give a damn. He didn't care. She cussing his ass out. Then tells him, you riding this whole round in my car. Tells him, drive my car back to my house. When you get back to my house, get your shit and get out. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. After he cussed you out like that, said he about to go and, and have sex with another one, you gonna tell him, drive my car back home. No, nigga, you walk your ass. You get in the car with, with Lisa Neal. 
You get on the goddamn bus, whatever you got to do, but you're not finna drive my car back to my house so you can politely pack your shit. No, man, no, 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 that's not how that works. So after all this little fiasco starting to calm down, they got Alexis in the van. They're getting ready to take her ass back to the house because then John done jumped, uh, hopped up in her car and finna go do what the hell he finna do, lay it low and spread it wide with another goddamn hoe out there. Child Lisa says she want to go holler at Alexis. She go to Alexis. She like, look here, woman to woman, I understand you upset. I get that because I would be upset too, but I want you to realize he ain't said nothing about you. I didn't know nothing about you. So you getting pissed off at me. I didn't know a damn thing about you. Now, baby, Alexis makes a valid ass point. She said, you don't find nothing odd at the fact that y'all only fucking every Wednesday in a man's bathroom stall at the barbershop. That don't seem weird to you, baby. Lisa said, look here. He said he wasn't getting nothing at home. So I just decided I'll hook him up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't getting to that home, so, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm out here passing out favors, you know what I'm saying? I just decided to hook him up. Lexus is like, see, you know, that's the whole reason right there. Make me want to bop your ass in the damn face. Like, <laughs> Bitch, you don't see nothing wrong with that? You don't see nothing wrong with that? Like, for real, though. You don't see nothing wrong with that? Child. Lisa didn't tell us how we're looking, bitch. Just let me let you know. I found his ass on the dating website, so whatever you doing at home, you need to make sure you wrap it up. Child, then Lisa gets real extra loud, goes in front of the van, starts yelling, whatever you ain't gonna do, somebody else gonna do for them, and you need to make sure you doing at home. You need to look up good sex in the dictionary. You'll find me. I was like, girl, you didn't prove no point. You didn't prove no point. You didn't prove no damn point. Y'all, but look here. Uh, Alexa says that she is done with John. She don't want nothing to do with John. John kissed her ass. And that was that. Y'all, the episode ended from there. It was good. If y'all can find it on the YouTube, look at it. Um, Alexis and John. I'm trying to tell y'all, this episode was good. This whole damn episode was a hot ass Goddamn mess, okay? If y'all see it, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Go ahead and drop it down below. Drop down in the comments anyway. Let's talk, because this one was good. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Elbow bump. Mmm.